October 6th, 1958. For Detroit, a day that will live in infamy. Two games into the defense of their third championship in six years, the Lions trade Lane to Pittsburgh for Earl Morrill and two draft picks. Well, it hurt me naturally when I was traded to the Steelers from the Lions. Uh, we had been very successful with Detroit. I really didn't know what to think. I tried what they referred to as a hex. hex, 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 hex. When they traded Bobby Lane to the Pittsburgh Steelers, he said, I'm the best quarterback in the league. There is no defense when Lane can take his time. And he said, you're going to trade me. You're never going to win another championship. Those words clearly have rung true. The Detroit Lions are only four or five plays away from having a terrific season. We've learned Lions running back Barry Sanders will announce his retirement via his representatives. The Lions, I know I've just had some contact with them. They have no comment, but they are clearly stunned by this decision. Calvin's retirement announcement, it's a gut punch in the locker room. It's a gut punch to the franchise. This is a poorly coached team right now. They are not executing at any level. Seven interceptions in the game now. Okay, now we've bounce. tied the team record. Dan Olofsky, rolling oh, right out of, ran out of bounds. That's a safety. How do you run three yards out of the end zone like that and not even know? A zero-win season, early retirements, no championships. The curse has lasted more than 60 years. It wasn't for a lack of stars. Oh, Megatron, you did it again. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Favorite player growing up, please Ooh. say, please say Eric Hipple. Eric Hipple. Really? Oh, my God, you read my mind. Hipple. Not quite hip yet. Seriously? No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, Barry Sanders. <laughs> Barry Sanders, hands down. Every time we talk about Barry, we say that's the greatest run, that's the greatest run. That might have been the greatest run. That was it's the number 20s that really do it for me. Lim Barney, Lim Barney. Barry Sanders, Billy, Billy Sanders. Got to be the greatest yeah. number. A little nostalgia here tonight. How's that for three 20s? Three guys have donned that number. Two of them are in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. First of all, can I just shout out to Lim Barney? He was a cornerback, right? right. In his NFL debut, that dude intercepted a pass from Bart Starr and ran it back for a touchdown. <laughs> First pass in his career thrown in his direction. Pretty good start. And goes all the way for a touchdown. The only thing wrong with Barry Sanders is that him wearing the number 20 overshadowed Billy Sims. A great one carrying the football right here. Billy Sims, that's just raw athletic running talent. He's one of those players that kind of time is forgotten. Billy Sims did look like he was shot out of a cannon. Billy Sims, the single coolest move football seen in 50 years. No doubt about it. Kung Fu Billy Sims, That's right? It, Pete, are you kidding me? It was unbelievable. Billy Sims is in the backfield. He's behind the fullback. Pike, right, sweep right. The second he hits the line, he goes past the guard, and then there's just this poor oiler right there, and he just puts his foot on him. He uses him as a springboard, and then he just goes, pow, and just kicks Steve Brown right in the chest. That propels him forward like two more yards. Right. Oh my goodness, did you see that? He hit Steve Brown with what looked like a karate kick. It's one of the greatest plays I've ever seen in the sport, and no one's talking about it. Well, it's funny you say that, because I wanted to give you a chance to demonstrate that very play. <laughs> Check it out. What? Steve Brown. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Oh, you want some more? Holy, you actually kicked him. We were just going to fix it in post. Uh, Frank, you OK, buddy? He's good. He's good. He's having the time of his life. <laughs>